What's up everyone, Empowered Qs here bringing you some more League of Legends action. We are playing a new Korean Jax build. I was stalking some OP.GG and there's a guy with uh, 730 Jax games in Diamond 1 that does this. He was doing it for a while and stopped when Conqueror came out and restarted doing it. So figured we'd check it out. His new thing is he actually starts boots and four pots. So I think that's probably to get really close to the champion with your distance with Eve. See ya. That electric Q proc and back up. Timo has kind of a weak early game, so we want to take advantage of that. So um, think about it this way. When you do range matchups, you want to punish them for having kind of weaker health and low escape. So that's what we're trying to do here. I'd like to rush level two against him because once he gets his blind, that's going to be an infinitely uh, harder matchup to win. So let's keep a good spacing so far. So I'm going to pop another potion here. Let's try, try to stay healthy. That's going to hurt now. So there's that. That's the Teemo trade right there. I like it. I think if we get a little bit of jungle pressure, it'll be an easy kill. So he did a good job off the initial trade of keeping his distance away from me, which is exactly what he wants to do. Ready for battle. So, and I, let's see. Oh, can't get that one. Pop my potion. Wait a second. Be Bring patient. Don't listen to me then. That's fine. Oh. I shouldn't have popped my ignite there. Ready for battle. Not gonna lie, greeted a little bit for the kill because I really needed in this lane, but that's okay. Still say worth it. Pop my other potion. Probably gonna need Holy Bear to come back in all honesty. We'll see though. If he returns ganks, then this team can get messed up, just walk away. Took a nice little tower shot. As soon as Volley Bear gets a little bit closer. Yep, you should be dead. Nice, good job. Now this team is in deep, deep trouble. It does make it very easy to win these kind of matchups when you actually get some jungle pressure, because that's what needs to happen a lot of the times. Get yourself a nice early lead. So I didn't talk about the build at all. It's pretty standard Jack stuff. Um, he does go Trinity first. Um, the big difference though, he usually gets an early Doran's Blade for some lifesteal, and then he actually goes Blade of the Ruin King, and he skips the Titanic Hydra. Kind of a very aggressive split pushing, dueling kind of build. So the extra lifesteal would be very helpful against the Teemo too, so I'm excited to check it out. Uh, he also typically matches Max's E first. He even did that against a, a cannon, so I thought he might max Q instead during range matchups, but he doesn't. So, so we're going to get the Doran's Blade here, and then probably get the health component. I could do... I like that better. Cool. So get some extra attack damage, get a refill pot for some of the poke. This boy is putting in work. Nice stuff. So pretty much even in CS, because these waves are going to hit right here. This is a little built up right here. Um, so I have flash and he doesn't too, so don't forget that. So I'm going to look to make another aggressive play on him. Probably once my ignites back up. I don't think it's going to be very wise to fight him without that. Probably get the extra kill pressure that way. Let me at him. Look to kind of. Ooh, definitely going to get Merc treads this game though, because that is going to hurt. I'd like to almost wait till I'm level six to fight him too. Another thing you could do against Teemo is build a QSS that actually drops the blind if you're finding that to be an issue. <laughs> I missed that one too. So Ignite's going to be up soon. I might just pop my E here. Of course. So the train I'm going to be looking to do now is one, two, 
and then jump for my third attack. Oh, got Twisted Fate missing. He's going bottom. Damn. Pop my potion. Nope, I didn't get enough damage off. Thought I did. Let me at him. Mm, gonna come and get this plant. Right here. Ready for battle. And head back. It's got no mana, so that's good. There's a shroom right there. I want to bait out his on. one, two, and then, like I said, jump. One. Oh. Let me at him. Okay, probably just going to push this wave in and back. I see TF, so getting out. Ready for battle. Yeah, that's gonna push in, alright. Use this shroom so they're gonna be too weak. Yeah, and he's too low. Ideally, I'd wanna get the um, sheen part for the poke damage, but I'm gonna grab this. I'm probably just gonna it's wait on. the uh, 35 gold at this point. So this tower needs, this wave needs a little bit of time to reset and start pushing out to me anyway, so. I could wait. The other thing I could do when I'm fighting Teemo, if he drops a shroom, I can drop my control ward. That'll disable the shroom as well. Oh, thank you, Zelane. Appreciate it. Surprise. Running back top lane. Teemo should have his um, flash back up too. So down in CS, but I feel like once we get our Blade of the Ruin King, um, we're just going to be able to run him down. So. Bring it on. On my way back to the top lane. Yes. Nice. Bring it on. Got all of it. Nice. So I'm gonna try and let this wave slow push. I got my Merc treads now, so the tier two boots will let me keep up with Timo a little bit better too. I said, I feel like that's the big thing about playing range matchups is you got to play them a little bit more aggressively, which just a lot of people aren't comfortable doing, which is understandable. Surprise! I'm back. All right, get a little CS catching up in here. An ally oh. has been slain. An ally oh. has been slain. Bottom. Push this. Probably gonna go for Infernal. Put some pressure on this tower. Let me at him. I have no idea when Timo got there, to be honest. Probably just TP'd. Well, if we trade Infernal for first tower, that's okay. As long as I get it, which I should be pretty close. Yeah, because it's already at half. Don't forget to use your W as an auto attack reset. Yeah, I should have this. That'll give me a lot more room to run the Teemo down to, which will be nice. Nice. First tower. Kind of a surprising play by the Teemo, to be honest. Good job. Ooh. I'd be careful because of TF. I gotta be ready to flash. It's on. Because if he like does the teleport stun thing, that is going to hurt. Like I said I dropped the ignite because I was so low on health, and Timo can do so much damage if you're not careful. So, um, let's see. Can I do? I don't think I can do both. So I'm end up gonna end up going this way. And building an attack speed component. I said I really want my sheen, but 
I'd rather have a fully completed section of my Trinity Force first. Interesting little tidbit about uh, Jax too. His E does dodge gold card. So another thing to keep in mind when fighting against a Twisted Fate is if he uh, teleports in, you can always just E. I could probably flash or jump. Hot potion. Thank you, sir. Ready for battle. Gonna keep the past game cool. Right. Yeah, a zillion alt if need be. Okay. Back it up. Got the uh, Twisted Fate flash out, so that's good. We'll go back, because I'm going to have to get up top against Teemo, and I'd rather be at a better health spot. <sighs> I'm going to pull the noob move. Really shouldn't have held on to my uh, <laughs> control ward as long as I did, but... And I need the gold, because I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to go top, you know, missing a core item that gives me cooldown reduction for 35 gold. So I should have placed it earlier anyways. So come back top and get this nice juicy wave. Not too far behind the Teemo either, so that's good. He's just going to run, which is fine. I'd rather just collect the farm anyways. There's more farm than what he's even worth here, so. All but one. Not too bad. So 0-0-3. Zero, zero, Not too bad considering the matchup. Teemo can be pretty frustrating to lane against, so... And I've caught up at CS and created a lot of pressure, so I'll take it. So, I want to push this wave past tower. And that'll give me about 45 seconds, unless Teemo pushes it further to make some sort of play. I don't know where Kane is. I gotta be careful. I hate it when those are in SCTF comments, so I'm just gonna... Peace out. Surprise. Yeah, they're quick. I'm gonna pop my... Yeah. Nice, gonna run up this way. I'm gonna steal red. Off this way. That's nice. I don't know what that Teemo is doing. You're going to be a nice guy. Let me have it. I'm going to take it. <laughs> I don't think Kane's over here. Oh my gosh, Teemo. So many shrooms. Oh, I got Red Buff to help heal me up. Push this wave in and back. Get my Triforce. Start working on my Bork. So to talk a little bit more about the rune page, I think what you're really doing is sacrificing... Um, late game pressure for early game pressure. Electrocute just does a ton of damage, um, especially with the quick short trades, and even more so in a, a range matchup. So I could get a nice Electrocute proc on Teemo versus like what's what's Conqueror for? I mean, even if you look at their champions, they're not going to have a whole lot of armor anyway. So the it's doubly as true for this team comp. Um, so Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, and Ravenous Hunter all kind of bolster that big damage there. And then Standard Noku to Cry and Nothing too special about that. See, I'm going to walk this way, see if I can find a little Teemo. Oh, he ran this way. Well, he's dead anyway, so I'll cut him off this way. Yeah, he's in there. Bye! <laughs> That's why I walked this way, waited for the flash right up there. Easy peasy. Let me at him. Bye, Cannon. Uh, we have red buff, so take this tower really easily while they secure the dragon. 
Nice. They're probably going to try and trade for Rift Herald, but not too worried about that, to be honest. Interesting choice. Stay by the Sivir. take uh, Gromps right here. I want to hit my level 11, and then I'm going to have a nice, tasty chunk of gold. I could get the uh, Cutlass. That'll give me another kiting mechanic. That'll be nice to catch up to the team, though. A little bit of lifesteal for some sustain. Nice. Back it up. And I can get a Control Ward as well. I mean, and then late game, there's a whole lot of other things you could do. This guy normally goes Randuin's Omen after. Um, as his kind of tank item, which I could definitely see. I definitely feel not having more health without doing, you know, Titanic Hydra. So that's going to give me some tanky stats. And you could kind of do the standard, you know, Sterix Rage Blade. Not going to lie to you guys. He's a Korean guy, so normally the games don't go that long. I don't really see him very often getting past the Randuin's Omen. So we'll see. My Ignite's up. I got my Cutlass, so I should be able to kill this Teemo just by running at him. Okay, he's just running. He doesn't want it. Fortunately, it wasn't in my ra the range of my Cutlass or anything. So I'm going to get my Control Ward down and still get hurt by the Dang Shroom. I hope they don't surrender. I want to get the 6 no Dream. I think they'll probably surrender though. <laughs> this game is probably over. Surprise, I'm back. Hmm. Support in here, give myself some coverage. Take away jungle camps, that's another way. Bye, Timo. See what I mean? Like, that electrocute damage is crazy. Oh god, oh god. Dead. Damn. So no six and O dream. Almost got the Janna though. Damn. That sucked. <laughs> I honestly feel the Janna was gonna catch me anyway, so I probably didn't need to use the ignite on the Teemo earlier. I probably could have saved that and that might have gotten me the Janna kill through the uh, ignite. Um but, yeah, like I was saying, look at the damage done by that electrocute, like, right away. I definitely think you can get away with a build like this in these kind of team comps. The only downside of being less tanky, though, is you're more likely to get bursted, as you saw that I was. You know, I'd almost have a Titanic Hydra at this point, or I'd have my Sterics, which would make that a much different uh, result as well. So, just something to consider there. Um, but, yeah, definitely going to finish by Bork and then... Uh, get a rando in zone, and that's going to help against most of their damage. The other thing, too, is nice that you could do a Spirit Visage, which isn't normally a great item on Jax, but if you have the Life Steal, it can magnify that. Uh, which you don't normally build anymore on Jax, so. And it's there. That red buff is up. I want to steal that. So we're going to go check on that. Um, but I probably wouldn't go Spirit Visage in this matchup anyways. The Teemo is a constant, like, dot damage. Jeez. Luckily, I have Lifesteal. Alright. Nice. Push this wave in. Here for saying if Timo gets to about right here, I'll probably run up to him. Let me add him. They're looking for me. They know it. 
steal this jungle camp away again. Same principle. I want to starve them of any resources that I can. But I do got to be worried about the TF. So I got to be cautious with how I utilize my E. But I said I can negate the stun. Okay. Key thing about split pushing is you got to know where everybody is. So I see all five of them. So I got to back up. <laughs> See how quickly I can nab this Rift Herald. So I want to keep my vision up if I'm splitting. I really want to start splitting bot side. I think they have vision over here, so I'm going to be kind of cheeky and run this way. Surprise! I'm back. He's running. He knows. Keep the pressure on here. Yep. It's Get rid of some mushrooms. I'm going to life steal it back up, anyways. Alright, my team. There's four bottoms, so now I can continue the push. Let the minions take that damage. I can start pressuring this tower. I take it super duper fast. Nice. Cool. Just let him waste his blind and then pop my E so I don't take any more damage. And then I don't generate tower aggro yet because I theoretically haven't hit him because I'm blinded. And then pop the ignite, stun him, jump, kill. That's what I mean. Look at this giant team fight that evaporated bot side. Get the pressure up top, kill their laner, and then I get a free tower and inhibitor. And I want to get the heck out of here because they're all going to be up as soon as this inhibitor's down. And I get the cannon, I mean. Nah, I'm out. Peace! And I can finish my Bork. And then uh, definitely want to go for Randuin's Omen, and I'm probably going to go a Magic Resist item. You could be Goofy and just do Maw of Mamordius as well. But I think I want health and tanky stats. Shut just sell down. this. And I'm just going to wait for the health component here. And we want to really start pressuring for... Split bot. You guys get Baron Vision. They need to start fighting for that. As you've proven, Teemo can't do anything about me. So if they have to send at least two people bot side to stop me. Oh there. On my way. I don't think I'll make it there in time. I don't know how fast they can realistically rush though. Should be able to force them out. No. What are you doing, buddy? Nice engaged by the Bully Bear. Bully Bear's done really solid this game. Uh, don't let the changes to Baron throw you off, too. Um, this is patch, what, 8 10, and they just kind of re dispersed. They changed up Baron's damage, so make sure you look up uh, some patch notes and stuff like that. Um, and check out the changes. So they just redistributed the damage a little bit, increased its health. They didn't like how quickly people were taking Baron's in the early game. So like I said, just a few things to keep in mind. So yeah, definitely want to go full kind of defensive stats here now. So the Randuin Omen is really going to help against the Jinx.
and I want some uh, magic research that'll help you guys both of these too. Not that I'm really worried about, uh, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're dead. No, I said that, uh, dodge stop gold card. Well, there you go. That's what I mean. Once you get, like, a little bit of early pressure on these goofy range matchups, then you could just smoke them in lane. Like, I had a good jungler, but I actually knew what he was doing. Get back up. I'm going to re-engage in a second. Kane has to leave now. Takes a while to back. I have my dodge, so if we slow any of them, I want to run. <laughs> Get some life steal up. Oh god, save me! Thank you, Lulu! <laughs> I'm out. Jinx is way too much damage. I'm out. Or I'm not out. Woo! I am out of here. <laughs> it's over anyways. I should have stayed for the picture. Alright, not too bad. That's that's interesting. That's interesting. I think it works into a really squishy um, team comp. Oh, I should have honored the Volley Bear. Shoot. Oh, well. Um, like, I didn't need Conqueror at any point in that, because look at look at their team comp. Like, who do, whose armor do I really have to shred? None of them. Uh, you could also have Justified Press the attack here, but think about the Electrocute proc. When the early game does that do, like, 100 damage? Or, I'm sorry, like, 50, 60 damage. So my E plus this and a few auto attacks is going to do, like, 250 damage, which is going to be... Almost half, you know, of someone like Teemo's life. So back up, rush for the level two, um, and then you can probably do a level two all in ignite trade and get the kill and snowball the lane. So it's, you saw how snowbally that lane was. As soon as we got, we were zero, zero, and three, so we only got the assists. Imagine if we had actually gotten the kills, how much further ahead we would have been as well. So these type of matchups, the range champion has to get really far ahead against Jax or you could just play way too aggressively against them and there's nothing that they can do about it um, almost number one damage number one damage on the team so well I hope you guys like that one don't forget to like share subscribe all that good jazz really really appreciate it and I'll catch you guys next time peace